Hit Film Sensei here. In this video, we are going to talk about exactly what will you need to make your epic lightsaber film. So obviously the first thing you're going to need is something to film it with. So, cell phone. Or if you have a better camera, use a better camera. Cell phone works okay, but a better camera, an actual dedicated DLSR camera would work much better, right? I don't happen to have one of those. If you do, good for you, but I don't, so I use a cell phone, right? Second thing you're going to need, a place to film, right? Now, most people aren't lucky enough to live in Colorado. I was born and raised here. I love it. And we use one of our local parks, right? But if, I'm sure wherever you're at, you can find somewhere that would work for you, right? If you look at some of the really popular uh, Star Wars lightsaber fan films out there, you'll see that they use all kinds of stuff. Uh, the Cho Brothers, for example, their first video was in their backyard. Their dog's running around and stuff. They made a big joke out of it, saying we use the force to move the dog around, you know, between shot and shot, you know, that kind of stuff. It was hysterical, and it was a great video. Their second video they put in a wooded area was really nice. Um, concrete Hustle, they used a parking lot, right? But you could use a parking lot or a, uh, you know, at night, or you could use, a, a, say, a, a warehouse or a garage, uh, you know, a parking garage or something like that, right? Ryan versus Dorkman actually used a warehouse, right? And then number two, right? Like I said, I use my local park, but if you hunt around, you'd probably find somewhere that works pretty well for you. But filming location is obviously a very important. You want to make sure you have everything controlled there and what you need to know, okay? Now, other kinds of equipment that you'll need or that you may need, but is not necessary, just highly recommended, right? First thing, a tripod, okay? That's going to be important because sometimes you want a lockdown shot. Certain effects will work so much easier and better if you do it on a tripod and a lockdown shot, get yourself a clean plate and stuff like that, okay? Secondly, you may want to have some sort of a steady cam, okay? I built this one out of PVC that I learned online, right? Works really well, okay? But you might build yourself a PVC shoulder harness. This cost me less than $5 to make, okay? Obviously, if you want to connect to one of these things, you know, you're going to have trouble unless you have some way to connect this, all right? The easiest way to do it is to get a selfie stick, right? Now, I happen to find this particular selfie stick at my local dollar store, and they had them on sale for a dollar each. I couldn't believe it. So what I did was I bought five of them, right? Unscrew that, put this here, right? And attach it. It's the standard quarter inch uh, threading. And then you just snap it onto your, uh, um, your tripod or your uh, steady camera mount. And then you just snap in the cell phone right and you're good to go okay and you're good to go all right other things that you may need costuming costuming right well gosh in our case we used our own homemade costume right but think about it you don't really need costumes if you don't want to look at concrete hustle they didn't wear any guys wore regular clothes how about ryan versus dorkman that's probably the most popular video out there and the guy's wearing regular clothes. What is that? But it's a great video, so you don't really need it. You will need a lot of safety pins, though, if you're going to create your own stuff. This is just a belt and some lanyards, some uh, tabards, and you know, a couple of cloaks and stuff like that. That's all you'll probably need as far as costuming. If you decide to go uh, with that, you can just go with regular clothes, too. Okay? Now, you'll need your lightsaber props, right? You got one with a blade, you got one without a blade. In the video where I talk about how to make these, I show you how to do that, right? Also in the video about filming, I talk about how we broke one, right? So you might want a few extra of these blades and some tools to put, you know, quickly reassemble and put them together again, right? That might be important. Other things that you may need, but obviously you don't necessarily, you might want a skateboard. I found this skateboard for two bucks at my local uh, thrift store. Great for dolly shots, you can put the camera on there and roll it in, nice and smooth, right? I found this for a dollar at my local dollar store. This is a gorilla, sort of a gorilla pod, right? You could use that 
as your skateboard dolly, right? So things like that. You find something, you go, wow, that'd be cool. I'd really like that, right? Other things that you want to need. If it's gonna, if you're gonna be out there for a while, if it's me, I'd bring a bottle of water. In fact, I'd bring one for everybody. I did, in fact, and they were very grateful, right? That they had water because it was sort of a hot day when we were when we were filming. Okay. Talk about the costumes. Last thing I'm gonna talk about in this video. There are three main factors involving costumes and props, okay? Costumes and props, you're talking. One is expense. How much is it going to cost, okay? Two is the quality. How good is that prop really going to be? Or how good looking is that costume really going to look, right? And three, how fast are you going to be able to have it, right? What's the time frame on that, okay? And somebody who talked to me about this said, hey, look, here's the thing. If you're talking about costumes or props, you can have two of those three things, but you can't have all three, okay? So if you want something that's real cheap and you want it to look really good, you better invest some time in it. It's going to take a while. You better pre-plan that and get it done early, okay? If you want something uh, right now that looks really good, you're going to have to spend some money, okay? You're going to have to spend some money, all right? If you want something that uh, is right now and you ain't got no money, it's going to look pretty cheap. That's the bottom line. It's not going to look very good, all right? If you haven't got money to spend and you need it today, right? So if you don't have any money, right, or you don't want to spend any money and you want it to look really good, my advice to you is pre-plan that out. Make sure you have plenty of time to get all of your ducks in a row before you actually go out and film. So good luck with your project, and hey, thanks for watching.